In this video I'm going to talk about the distance sensor and try and give as much information as I possibly can about the response of it um, just to help people out. A couple of things uh, before we start. I'm just using a magnet here which uh, when I compare the response of the sensor uh, compared to a shift fork which is what I was using before and the magnet on it this gives me pretty much an identical response and this is much more convenient so that's what that is. Uh, the sensors here, one, two, three, and four is on the other side here. So the shift rods run on the aluminium side for distance sensors one, two, and three, and on the other side for distance sensor four. Uh, the way this is orientated, this would be towards the back of the transmission. This would be towards the bell housing. So if a magnet is moving in that direction there, that is going to be a retraction of that shift. Uh, rod and an extension if it moves in this direction here. Movement of the, the shift rod with the actuator, uh, the hydraulic actuator, there's a total movement of 20 millimeters available, so plus or minus 10 millimeters from a central position. When you move the shift fork to engage a gear, it moves about nine millimeters. So there's a little bit of extra fat there. So when you move this magnet here, it's going to move about nine millimeters. Uh, and it's plus or minus about half a millimetre or so on that when different gears are selected inside the transmission. Uh, also with the, the position of the sensors in here, there are coils in here that measure it, but the central position is not the centre of the, not the centre of the sensor. It's offset a little bit. So for uh, sensors one, two and four, it's offset a millimetre and a half towards the bell housing, and for sensor three, it's offset a little bit uh, towards the back of the transmission uh, because everything's flipped around inside for sensor three. Uh, also for sensor three, the relative movement of the magnet gives an opposite to response to the, the other. So for example, if I moved it uh, in that direction there and it changed the duty cycle so for example it might increase the duty cycle for one two and four for three moving it that way would have the opposite effect but we'll have a look at each of those and i'll explain as i'm going along so starting at distance sensor one i've got an accurate five volt supply to it if i look at the duty cycle 1037 hertz what i've seen generally is about 1046 plus or minus 10. Um, so that is the duty cycle there and as you can see that's slightly off uh, center it's about a millimeter and a half from what i've measured inside the transmission uh, towards the bell housing side and as you can see if i move it to retract it about that nine millimeters and generally it's going to be about a 20 percent uh, duty cycle and about 80 percent when it's at the other end but you can see a retraction of the shift fork gives me a uh, reduction in duty cycle and if i change that to the voltage it's going to give me about you know, a little bit over a volt, which is what I was seeing on the car as well. And if I extend the shift fork, that's going to increase the duty cycle. And so that movement, what I see normally of about nine millimeters changes it from about 20% to 80% duty cycle. For shift rod two and distance sensor two, uh, the pulse width modulated frequency is 866 hertz and what you'll find is these will alternate so distance sensor one is about 1046 then 866 then distance sensor three one uh, 1046 then 866. Uh, the central position there duty cycle as you can see it's offset a little bit towards the bell housing end and if i move it towards the bell housing so retract going to decrease the duty cycle extend increase the duty cycle Distance sensor three, the frequency is about 1055. And if I find the spot where it is 50% duty cycle on this one, it's slightly offset towards the, the back of the transmission, which is different to the other three. And if I move it forwards to, to retract, it's gonna increase the duty cycle. And if I move it rearward, it decreases the duty cycle. So it is opposite to distance sensors one and two. This is distance sensor four, and I've flipped it around, uh, and still that end is towards the bell housing. This end is towards the back of the transmission. 
The frequency, as you can see, that's uh, 858 hertz. And the duty cycle, if I find that 50% position, is slightly offset again towards the front. And if I move it towards the front, so retract it, again, I'm going to get a decrease in duty cycle towards the rear, so extend and increase in duty cycle.